Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube content. I'm Tom Kim. In this video, I would like to share how to do Cho test in XLNR. According to Wikipedia, Cho test proposed by econometrician Gregory Cho in 1960 is a test of whether the true coefficients into linear regressions on different data sets are equal. And this test is commonly used in econometrics using time series data to evaluate if the data has a structural break at some point. I have created simple fictitious data, and x1 variable and y variable shows a kind of linear relationship. But as you can see, at this point, there is a, a different uh, regression slope. So we can do uh, this Cho test in R. Uh, so once you activate structural change library, uh, if you use SC test function, then you can get to, uh, Cho test result. And under 5% significance level, uh, at point 8, there is no significant re, uh, uh, difference loaf. So we cannot reject null hypothesis. But if you use breakpoints function, then it uh, helps you find optimal uh, segments to have different uh, di uh, to have different uh, regression slope. So uh, it says breakpoints at uh, observation number uh, at 16. It has different uh, regression slope. And then uh, again, if you use S test function again, it shows uh, Cho test again. Then under 5% significance level. Yeah, it shows there is significant difference in terms of regression slope for first data and for second set data. Let me show you how to get these Cho test results in Excel. Right? And this is the formula to calculate F value for Cho test. And let me use this matrix competition form to get uh, B0 and B1 for each model. Right? For a full model, we can use emerge and transpose of design matrix and comma and design matrix and M inverse. And then uh, let's use emerge comma transpose of design matrix and then emerge comma uh, y vector and press ctrl shift enter right for s1 emerge transpose of design matrix from first data set and comma design matrix and M inverse and we can emerge comma transpose of design matrix from first data set and emerge comma y from first data set and press ctrl shift enter right for s2 emerge transpose of design matrix from second data set comma design matrix and M inverse and emerge comma transpose of design matrix from second data set Emerge, comma, y vector from second data set. Press Ctrl Shift Enter. Okay. Then let's get a squared residual. 
y minus p0 plus p1 times x1 and square for s1 y minus p0 plus p1 times x1 and for s2 y minus p0 plus p1 times x1 square Let's get um, sum of SC and sum of S1. And sum of S2. The numerator part SC minus S1 plus S2 over k, k equals 2 because uh, there are two uh, coefficients and denominated part s1 plus s2 over uh, n1 as 8 plus n2 uh, equals 22 minus 2 times k, k equals 2 then F statistic can be calculated by numerates over denominator, right? And F value, uh, P value uh, is equal to 1 minus F dot DIST, uh, F statistic, comma, uh, the first degrees of freedom is 2, uh, K, actually, you need to specify it uh, from K, comma, and uh, second uh, degrees of freedom equal to uh, a plus 22 minus 4 and cumulative right so this is same as uh, our output again uh, we need to interpret this one uh, as like this so under 5% significance level uh, we cannot reject our hypothesis so uh, there is no significant slope difference uh, at point A. However, you know, if you uh, do Cho test at point 16, then it, it shows a uh, significant difference for first data set and second data set related to regression co uh, coefficients. And if you use breakpoints function in R, uh, it shows the best breakpoints, in this case 16, is the best breakpoints to uh, to have different slope for first data set and second data set. I hope it was useful to understand how to do Cho test in XLNR. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.